spilled water. Rain isn't fucking going live. There we go. All right. Close the door a little bit. All right, and we are live with Resident Evil 3 Remake. So, uh, this is the continuation of the Resident Evil Marathon. Um, this should be a fun time. Why is my... Oh, that's why I can't hear anything, because I have my volume down. Um, so yeah, let's just go and start from the beginning at standard. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked out conscious in uh, city emergency. CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern region of the U.S. I wasn't aware of so much about, like, the riot stuff. Um, that wasn't really a thing in the originals, I believe. These are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. It's this foundation that will continue to build brighter future for all of us. And what could they possibly be working on, I wonder? Certainly would not be the antagonist of this entire game. We swear, we only make pharmaceuticals for, like, aspirin and stuff. We have nothing going on in terms of, like, bioweapons and shit. I feel like even as much um, shit people gave this game, um, I don't know. I still really love it. I think I think I might have might have had like a bittersweet taste in my mouth when I finished it because I because I made the mistake of trying to get all the trophies, achievements, whatever. And this game can be very tedious if you're trying to hundred percent it. So I would not recommend that to uh, to most people. So we're just looking around at stuff. Jill's apartment's actually quite small. Is this considered a studio? Yes, I would say so. Probably a little bit bigger than most studios. Oh no, the sink is bleeding. <laughs> And now Jill is uh, digivolved into Zombie Jill. They, it's kind of weird. Outside of this opening part, they don't really go into the um, nightmares or PTSD aspect. It's it's purely here at the beginning. Oh, hey, Ramen Nomad. Uh, just want to stop by and wish you a good stream. Gotta go feed the kiddos. Thanks for stopping by. Have yourself a great night and hope the kids have a very good eating experience. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. Myself, I had um, chili beans because I'm an addict for it. Uh, Digivolve Zombie Jill. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, Digivolve is usually my go to. Um, what am I supposed to... No, I think the phone's supposed to ring at some point for this. It might be a little hard for me to see stuff here because I'm a weirdo and I play all my games, at least on my PC, with, like, contrast all the way up because I think it really pops visually. Let's go in here. 
is a nice little nod, at least to Resident Evil 7 with um, the first person camera perspective. Which, I like both styles pretty, pretty equally. I think third person gives a much better, um, it, it lends itself to be, to put you in the position to, to like characters more because you're seeing them and like their reactions and stuff instead of just like audio cues and, and uh, lines and stuff like that. But the first person horror of uh, Resident Evil 7 is pretty, pretty unmatched. Hello? Jill! Are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now! Alright, let me grab my... Ah! <laughs> like, this game just... Basically, from this point on, it wastes no freaking time, like, jumping, jumping, and jumping to things. Even in the, uh, open segments, it's, uh... The pace is pretty, uh, breakneck. Like, if they're going to make a straight-up action movie out of these, and I'm not talking about the existing Resident Evil movies, uh, 3 lends itself to be a better action, or, or to, I'm sorry, not even action, just lends itself to a better paced movie than probably 2. Let's dip out of here. So I don't believe Nemesis can really, like, follow you and kill you. Unless you, like, just don't push forward for whatever reason. But outside of that, um, we're good. And thankfully Jill is experienced enough through everything she's gone through that... Um, she knows how to handle herself. Which would be cool to see a remake of, like, Resident Evil 1 in the same style as the 2 and 3 remake. And obviously there's already a remake of 1, but I would like a re-remake. Okay. <laughs> oh, Nemesis is so fucking relentless. Unfortunately for Nemesis, he's uh, also quite clumsy. And even all the camera work right here is so good. And yeah, for whatever reason, he decides to just give up right now. Which is convenient for us. Oh, apparently got an achievement. Get out of town. Jill, over here. That's just the objective for the whole game. You okay? What was that thing? Tim to find though. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. The lip sync for this is so off. Holy cow. At least at least for Brad. This all happened so fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arkland on steroids. I am a fit. Come on, Jill, stop holding your tummy. Hey, Take some tums. Down here. Damn it. Look at this many people being infected. Here's some Zambinos over here. Brad's over here acting like he had to go through all the Arclay stuff when he was just a helicopter pilot. You were not in the mansion. Don't act like you went through the same thing. Door behind you, go! <laughs> Don't think about it. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No. I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do we 
favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Brad's a bit more admirable here than he was in the original. But you did. And they got past Brad. Brad is dead. Presumably. Uh, we don't have to mess with you. Because we're just going to dip. Save the bullets. Let's see. Just run past everything. There's definitely a greater number of zombies here than in two. Um, that there's some presentation detriments compared to the two remake. Don't come any closer. Hey, come on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there. The parking garage isn't far. I can. The only safe place is in here. You can actually stay and talk to him for a while. I think there's an achievement for it. I mean, if he's down for a cab, then yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Sir, this is your last chance. No one else is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death than here to be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone. I mean, to be fair, if he was accompanying us, uh, Nemesis would probably kill him. So. I can't say that I ultimately blame him all that much. Oh yeah, the knife. I forget. They make the knife like its own full on uh, equipable item. It's not a um, like a little escape tool or anything like that. Well, let's reload. This just screams bad idea. But thankfully, we have the power of uh, main character and vulnerability to zombie bites, as long as we're not in a cutscene. If it happens during gameplay, it doesn't count. So we're probably going to get chomped like there's no tomorrow. Uh, we should be able to just duke these guys. Because I have played this game entirely way too much. And it is cool seeing uh, Jill here um, in contrast to Leon and Claire where they... Leon has the training of a police officer, not necessarily the experience. Uh, she is a time-tested veteran of, uh, of the police force. Should have got a push to start. Granted, it's supposed to be like 97, I believe. So. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, there is so many more set pieces in here than than two. Like like even the ones in two, like the alligator, like those are so paced out to like halfway through the game, and this one's just set piece after set piece after set piece in the beginning. It's crazy. Oh, and now his mask comes off. His little burlap sack, like he's frickin', um... Jason pre... Jason 3, I believe, is where... Or no, Friday the 13th 3. Take the rockets with you. Yeah, he's not dead. He's just kneeling. You should maybe use the rest of those rockets. Make sure he's dead. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. At least he respects oh, that. Come on. Who's the dipshit to close this? Making use of the map. We're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. <laughs> He's all yours. Smooth as always, Carlos. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. BCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? You don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Oddly missing sound effect right there. Not a big deal. Man, this game still looks freaking great. And the pacing is so good. Like, Resident, Resident Evil games are usually traditionally pretty short. But... This one's yeah. just so... So expertly paced. Find young lady could use our help. Carlos. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. You can it's tell Jill. he is Russian because of his hat and heavy accent. Jill. Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. I'm surprised he's not he chugging a freaking bottle of vodka. <laughs> Uh, like, like, yeah, Resident Evil is entirely based off of, like, cheesy B-horror movies. Um, it's, it's like the, a Japanese person's idea of what of what a B-horror, of what an American B-horror movie is, and it's using, like, every stereotype in the book, and that includes American movies having <laughs> Russian people speaking like these. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. I'm sure every single one of these survivors will not die whatsoever. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. Cool, we all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. Like, outside of, um... She was I going to say? I super lost my train of thought. Never mind.
Yeah, let's just go over here. I've uh, in typical Resident Evil tradition, there's a whole bunch of collect collectibles uh, everywhere for achievements and whatnot. Uh, the Cannibal Murders a Complete Digest. In the grave morning of September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled like vagrant was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? We here at News Comment have a not have a not feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patients, uh, Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have inf have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asking the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. It's a fucking tabloid, whatever. Um. Yeah, they, they help flush out the world pretty nice with all the collectibles and whatnot. Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Alright, let's get some items. Oh yeah. I remember now we, why we need the knife to open boxes. Because apparently you can't open them by yourself. We need a lockpick for that, but we are the master of lockpicking, so uh, it shouldn't provide like too much an issue. Alright, let's combine that. Um, put that away. There should still be plenty of stuff around here. Explain how to use herbs, I already know that. Mm, I believe that's it for right now. Right? No, oh, Q is the quick turn, okay. This area is completely safe, that's why we left this door open. <laughs> Okay, so there's the little dodge thing. Um, a little hard to pull off, but if once you get the timing right, and there's some unlockable stuff you get once you beat the game to make that window even bigger. So that is cool. Right. Oh! Damn it! Okay, forgot about you. Uh... Oh, no, I am not doing good. I. Oh, jeez. This is bad. <laughs> so bad. Why am I doing so bad? Jesus. Uh, Jill can take a lot more of a biting, apparently. A lot more of a beating, biting, whatever you want to call it. So this stuff is all chained up. Um, ignore that for now. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Ah, I see what you did there, Carlos. Alright, so yeah, we need a hose for that. Uh, but all our ways are blocked off. What are we supposed to do? And now they've conveniently been moved. Let's... There we go. I should take care of that. There's still a couple more down here. So there's a couple ways we can go. We can go straight through. Oh, actually, you know what? That might be locked. This straight way ahead. So we're gonna go here. There you go. That'll shock you guys at least. 
And let's go up here so we can drop down the ladder. Uh, that person's alive. And there's a zombie right here. Let's just kick you down. Because we will need that later. Oh, there is ammo of some sort. Gunpowder. Oh! Nope. Damn it. Still on caution. We are taking a hell of a beating. I, I would already be dead in the 2 remake. That's for damn sure. We got herbs. Alright, safe combination. Um, you know what? I do remember this. I'm going to do the same thing that we did before. Um, t -t -t let's see. We're just going to look it up. Da -da -da, Resident Evil 3. Um, codes. Not action replay. All safe combinations. There we go. It is nine. Uh, why is there two different combinations? Uh, oh, it's probably for the second playthrough or whatever. One and eight. That is not it. Okay, maybe it's the other one. Left nine. Oh, shit, I've already fucked it up. <laughs> Left nine. Uh, three and seven. There we go. Got a sight for the handgun for more precision aiming. There we go. So that helps, and there should be plenty, or some amount of... Just get you out of the way. There should also be some uh, raccoon little dude collectibles in here. Somewhere around here. I hear it. There you are. Oh, let me turn my chat back on. Let's go to the pharmacy over here. Um, we'll go. Oh God, damn it! So many cheap frickin' knee bites. That is not. Ooh, headshot at least. And we're still on caution. Not even on red. Maybe I should stop running all over the place. I'll probably frickin' help. Um, there's still plenty of items here apparently. High grade gunpowder. Um, combine with gunpowder to create shotgun shells or combine with another high grade gunpowder to make mag ammo. Okay, so we do not want to waste that on regular handgun bullets. But let's do this. Combine. Now we have plenty of room. And it says there's another thing to grab green herb. And then. Um, this is the hint for the safe right here. Nine three seven. There should be some items over here as well. Let's blow these guys up. Actually, let's just do that. Gunpowder. Just run past. We got plenty. Uh, let's go down south a bit. Ooh! That... 
I am pretty lucky to get two headshots like that. That is not a common occurrence. <laughs> There is a bobblehead. Huh, nothing. Uh, let's see. Need a lock pick for that. Nothing in here of interest at the moment, apparently, because we need the power on. So we just we are just here for this. Um, but we need to combine. Combine that. Got the fire hose. And there is some stuff here. We need to cut the chain. Hand grenade. Gunpowder. We'll just leave that for later when we come back. Wasn't there a zombie right there? Oh, it's coming around. Come on. Let's do it. I'm right here. There we go. Alright, so we're full up on items. Let's circle back to... Uh, I... No, I don't trust you. <laughs> I forget if that's chained or anything, but there should be some stuff over there. Um, good ammo. Uh, shit. Uh, let's just deposit some stuff. Check that. So we don't need all this. I don't even need the knife. I have so much ammo, it's it's kind of laughable. Fancy box. We have a stone. Um, we don't need that for now. That's for back when we go back to the train. Store. And our first save of the night. Should still be some stuff in here? Too much ammo. Uh, we're right here, so let's just drop it off. Don't need it. More stuff taking space up than we really need. Okay, so we can go through here. Um, I want to check what's over here. I forget if you need the bolt cutters for this. Oh! Okay, now we need that herb. That's fine. I think I got plenty of ammo. Shit. There we go. And we still got plenty. Yeah, it's a chain. But at least these guys are down. And if I come back, then I come back, whatever. So that was not very speedrun like, but it's not necessarily what we're here for. So yeah, we've cleared out basically everything here except for a few minor items. Ooh, third headshot. Well, head explosion, whatever we want to classify it as. So 
open this. Got our fire hose. I mean, we could have just busted this without the hose. I don't know how he would have controlled the direction, but... Oh well. There's the bolt cutters. Um, let's get you out of there. Um, that's the way to go to progress. Um, I don't want to do that right now. We are going to do a little bit of backtracking while it's easier. Um, if we were going for a speed run, we would not be doing this backtracking right now. But um, it's it's better to do it right now before Nemesis gets on your gets on your butt. So that's what we are going to be doing. That's open. We got another fancy box. And inside the fancy box is... Would you believe it? Another jewel. So that's just a key item. High grade gunpowder. And I'm basically just going to save all those for the magnum later on. Uh, which doesn't even come until way, 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 way late in the game. Uh, comparatively. Oh, fuck, that's a lock. Okay. Um, padlock door. Chained door. Okay, so we need to go back over here. And then, wasn't the, um, the room in the subway thing, that, that was locked off with a chain, right? I think so. So let's go do that. Alright, so, okay, so most of those guys are still down. That's good. I don't remember how the hard. So the hardcore version of this still definitely um, revises where items and stuff are. I don't know if it necessarily makes it faster in the same case as. Uh, Resident Evil 2. And good ammo. Shotgun shells. I don't have room for shotgun shells. Um, shit. We got too many items all at once. So let's just deposit these. Um, deposit, we can, there we go, don't even necessarily need to save. This zombie's probably still alive, the other ones got blown up, so I should be pretty safe from those. Shotgun shells. And then, like, so yes, in terms of speedrun, absolutely don't need the shotgun, but whatever. Like, I feel like I can do a pretty confident Resident Evil 2 speedrun at the moment now, but that's only because I've played two campaign runs back to back. Um, I think I played this game exclusively for like two or three weeks. And I got real familiar, and there's no, like, separate campaigns or anything like that. It's just this campaign. Oh. Go down. Alright, so that is that for the... Is that not it for the bolt cutters? Oh, duh, it's the... But you cut the bolt stuff right by where we got it. Okay. That's what I was about to say. 
Damn it. They are in such freaking asshole ish spawns. Or not spawns, but like locations, like right when you open a door. And I have not managed to do a successful dodge yet. Alright, that should be it for, yep, bolt cutters. Like that, all right. I'm not in effect. No, 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 wait, please. What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars, this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self preservation. More Your evil Russians. I don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Um, I forgot to save because it's actually yeah. Let's just save anyway. And then, do we have any unnecessary items? Yes, we do. We don't need shotgun shells. We'll take. I uh, will keep the shotgun though. Mysteriously disappears. Let's sit over here. I need the frickin' lockpicks. Yeah, Nemesis doesn't come for us for uh, a quick minute. There we go. You still alive? Nope, both dead. Oh, you are. Where? Okay. This game also just kind of feels better to play than two, actually. I'm still playing mouse and. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, it just feels a little tighter, actually. Which is odd. I don't remember that being a thing. Alright, there's gonna be a bunch of Zambinos around here. Ooh! Headshot number four? Ooh! Wow! <laughs> Great back to back, holy shit. Let's see. Gunpowder. This game looks. Uh, River Green says the game looks fun. Yeah, I I fully enjoy this game. I'd recommend it to basically anyone. Maybe if you don't like um, <laughs> uh, horror games, then don't play it. But otherwise, yeah. Red herb. We got a hip pouch, so two more slots for inventory items. Uh, let's get rid of that. Nope. Aside from that, I think. Um, let's bring the shotgun shells just in case. I, I want to avoid using them. There should be a... There you are. There should be another item around here, I think? Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, let's just save. 
see. You love horror games and you finish Outlast in five days. I really need to go back to the first Outlast because um, I played that on PS4 when it was a free uh, PS Plus game. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. But I think I just bought Outlast 2 because it was like five bucks. I know like some people have some issues with 2. I forget the specific reasons. Um, yeah, that, that's going to be a fun time. Maybe, maybe it'll be a stream game. Dude's guarding his little fancy box. Fancy. He's got little bugs in it. Oh my god. Okay, let's open the case. Which has a lockpick, which is very useful for the master of unlocking to uh, have one of these. We have such a crazy amount of ammo compared to, um, compared to, compared to like basically what we had in Resident Evil 2, like at any given point in time. Let's see, we have plenty. We probably have too much stuff. Let's see how far we get. And this is pretty freaking disgusting. <laughs> that might be on some certain websites if you catch my drift. <laughs> but now we have bugs, parasites in us. But we can get rid of them with a simple green herb. I would brush my teeth for like an entire day if that freaking happened. <laughs> Alright, so... We need to flip the circuit breakers in this big old maze area. Alright. Oh, this is pretty... Pretty freaky with your darkness settings adjusted properly. Behind me. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Okay, shoot them till they explode. Oh. Oh, god damn it. Uh, that is gross. That parasite out. Oh, come on, come on. No, no, no. That's what the shotgun's for. No one. Oh, one coming. Anyone spawning? Wow, they are all around. Okay. This is so much worse with headphones. Come on. Get right around. Oh, nope. They are above me. Jesus. Come on, go this. They are everywhere. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is this is bad with headphones. I mean, it's good, but it's it's so bad. All right, I'm gonna stop running, so I can. I see a shadow of one over there. Right around the corner. I know you're there. Alright, got a green herb. Oh! Get 
trying to conserve the shotgun because, uh, or shotgun ammo. Because much more efficient getting rid of these things, but I'd rather save the ammo for when we really, really need it. Nope, you're outside there. Where's this last box at? I could have sworn it was somewhere right around here, right? Or was it down here? So we have two of them. Or maybe that's the second run. I I am so forgetful with this stuff. All right, so we just have the last circuit breaker, then we should be in the home stretch. Where is that one? Just dip. <laughs> Run. Uh, shoot. Alright. Got all there relatively clean. Okay. All that leaves is the main power switch. So that's the rest of those enemies for the game. In that sense, it's, this has like a nice sense of variety where they are isolated to that. You won't see them further on and it's a nice little isolated experience. I'm severely running low on handgun ammo though. Aside from that, um, did we already do the thing? Return to the subway station. Yes, we did do the thing. All right, let's open Carlos, this thing down here. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Really? Way to go, partner. One step ahead. Not your partner. Alright, so let's open this. Not an issue for the master of unlocking. Okay, and there were a couple places throughout that had this stuff, so we're gonna have to go back to those. But for now, we get to deal with our best friend. Nemesis. <laughs> you shitting me? Run. And uh, in harder difficulties, he just full on sprints for you. You you have to dodge. Carlos, that thing is still alive. It's after me. What? Run! Come back to the station. Not until I get traffic control online. Like yeah, in the harder modes, like you have to get good at dodging. You you can totally skirt by without doing it on the normal uh, difficulty, but uh, not not so much on hardcore or anything above that. Put that away. Uh, let's save. All 
Uh, let's go over here. Actually, we should do that. Second. Um, simple lock in the donut shop also. Oh, yeah, no, we'll get that on the way back. On the way back. <laughs> Bye, Nemesis. Bye, Nemesis. Oh. Shit. I was kind of hoping to hit him with the explosion, but... Oh! Oh! Ooh, dodged your ass. Come on, buddy. I can dodge you. I can do this all day. I don't think he drops anything right here. Oh! Let's get this real quick. All right, don't here, don't here, don't <laughs> Oh, Christ. Okay. Um, I am going to keep the hand grenade. Because we can use that against him. <laughs> He's just chilling right there. Okay, let's blow him up. There we go, and we got a big ol' steel supply case out of him. Bye, buddy. You got knocked out. Let's see what's in here. Extended magazine for the handgun. Uh, I will save that because I believe it gives us more ammo the second we use it, so. Oh, shit. Um, one. There we go. Okay, back again. That's not too hard. Okay, let's pick this. First aid spray, gunpowder. I don't believe Nemesis pops up in this place. Carlos, I think we're I'm good. In the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you gotta plot out a route. Okay, give me a sec. There we go. Shotgun shells. All right. What? Where are we headed? The train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. Let's see. We need to program that in. What does that hey, say, Faust? Consider it done. Two. Oh, wait, line two, okay. And then Raccoon Central Station. Is it RC or? It's Faust Arena RC. There's no other RA, so I'm guessing that's it. Line number. Three. And then St. Michael's. Line number. Four. Unable to establish route. Okay, Please so it's not. Try again. Okay, so we need the same Michaels one fixed. Same Michaels two. Valid route confirmed. Carlos, it's me. I finished him putting the supper room. Chill, you are amazing. Tough as nails, too. Hurry back to the station. We'll make 
There we go. Alright, so we got everything here, I believe. Yes. Oh, this guy's got a little Resident Evil 4 looking thing on his... Oh! Okay, forgot about that. Let's cripple you. Come on. You know what? Fuck this. Shoot your legs out. There. Very hard to kill. Um, so let's go through here. Nemesis is nowhere to be found. Where could he have gone? There's Nemesis infecting all these already infected zombies with more stuff. Bye-bye, Nemesis. Nope. Nope. Oh. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, wait. I actually died from that? Nuh-uh. That was a freaking stun lock. I'm gonna reload that last save so we get the better time. It's not that much time, but it is something. It's probably because I got hit, then bit, and then hit. That's a freaking uh, three for one combo right there. Don't jump, Nemesis. Don't do it. He did it. Ooh. Perfect dodge. Ooh. Let's just lockpick this and hope he doesn't come. <laughs> uh, this makes no sense logically, but it works for me. Charlie doll. So it's not the little raccoon souvenirs from uh, 2 or the Mr. Everywhere from 7. Uh, salmon. Go. Oh, green jewel. And there's our buddy Nemesis just chilling there. He's not coming into the store. He's just gonna stare at us down. Because he knows we have nowhere to go. Oh, come on. Don't block the door. Don't be that guy. Fuck it. No! Okay. I need heal. Is he just suck? Ooh. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Get out of here. I cannot be dealing with all of you guys at the same time. Oh, I'm about to get sucked. I missed like, like some handgun ammo there. It's not important. Ooh, dodge that. All right, but we are done over there. So that was an experience. Uh, let's see, we need all the jewels. Because people leave hand grenades in this thing, apparently. And they leave shotgun attachments in here, apparently. And... 
they leave. I can see an RPD pouch. None of these make sense. Okay, so stock provide it reduces recoil by increasing the gun stability, affording higher accuracy. So let's just attach that. And unlike in the Resident Evil 2 remake, it just takes a single slot. It doesn't take up more spaces, um, depending on like how big the physical item is. It's all single slot stuff, which I'm down for. Um, let's get that lock pick going over here. Yeah, that's basically like the exploring Raccoon City part. There's no like other real streets. Uh, exploring like big street segments aside from that. That's all we're getting. We just don't really need shotgun ammo at this point in the game. You don't really need it for most, I would say. We can skate by with our handgun. Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai, how are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's helping get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight for me. She's unreliable. We did your job get for you. When it counts. Hey, take it easy. She'll get you killed. It's almost as if the game's setting him up to be the bad guy. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. Oh, come on. Not again. It's me he's after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. Wait, Joe. No! Damn it. All right, let's come dip. On, and at least, oh, oh, damn it, we got sucked. Uh, he's not as fast as he is in uh, Nightmare and Inferno modes, where he's just full on sprinting all the time. Go through here. Oh, hanging ammo. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Come on over here. There you go, another supply case. So let's just get this going. Come on, Jill, hurry up. He's gonna get up soon. Go. And thankfully, Nemesis lacks the ability of uh, bending his knees. He can't get down here. So we're good for now. Um, what was the thing we just got? Supply case. Shotgun shells. It's interesting that Nemesis is just carrying the stuff on him. It's not even munitions or upgrades. They're for his own arsenal. If you're ours. Maybe he's just like going around seeing supplies and like stealing them so that we can't get them in which case dick move Carlos do you copy Carlos oh, shit oh, I need to find another way out all right got a map a map of the area perfect a lot of shotgun shells uh, don't need all this necessarily. Actually, okay, let's do a quick test. We're gonna save over here. I wanna see what happens if I do this. Yes, it does give you more ammo, okay. Test confirmed, reload that save. Cause I'm basically just gonna carry that around like an extra freaking uh, magazine. Oh, didn't save all this? That's odd. Oh well. 
And I don't believe we're going to need all this shotgun ammo. We're getting something else to assist us. Ooh, a hip pouch. How do we get that? Ooh, what was that? That was a big creepy scream. That's what that was, Jill. Alright, so there's gonna be a specific key battery thingy we need. Looks like it needs a power source. Uh do we go down here? I think so. Yeah, because this is where it came from. So, yeah, we have to go down here into the sewer because we're gross at that. Oh, God. I'm definitely burning this clothes. Hand grenade. Alright, so we're going to go straight ahead. There won't possibly be anything scary down. Oh! Blow it up. One. What oh. The, fuck was that? the grenade did most of the work. Yeah, these things will freaking uh, devour you whole. So, not fun. Explosive B. Oh, yeah, I forget. There's like other kinds of like craftable ammo in here. Here is the grenade launcher, which I, oh, I mean, never mind. I guess this does take up uh, two spots. Um, so this has incendiary flame rounds, and unlike the one in Resident Evil 2, it, carry, it can hold more than one uh, shell, round, whatever you want to call it for the grenades. Uh, explosive grenades combine two A's, flame rounds, an A and a B, and acid rounds, two B's. Uh, explosive rounds being the best. Um, let's actually, I want to keep my shotgun stock, even if I'm not necessarily using it at any given time. That should be fine, right? What's it? Whatever. We'll just save here, and then if we need to just go back for convenience sakes or anything like that, uh, we shall do so. Now I'm just kind of paranoid about these things showing up in the first place. Is that enough to kill it? Just one? I don't remember. I guess so. Okay. Awesome. The uh, hardcore playthrough is a bit insidious. It it's hide one, hides one right over there and it freaking starved me up and I don't forgive the game for that. Gunpowder, shotgun shells. Yeah, that is pretty nasty. But you are dead now. If that initial test is anything to go off of. Oh, and more flame rounds. Nice. Yeah, she gets a shotgun of freaking uh, Leon from Resident Evil 2. She gets a, a better grenade launcher. Um, from, from Claire's arsenal from Ezreal 2, so Jill's kind of like best of both worlds. So there's the battery pack that we need in order to uh, go through the level. Gunpowder. There we go. Just come, whoops. And let's see what's in here. Explosive A. Gonna save that. Um, 
shoot. Can I just not use this? I mean, it's just a green herb. Do I really want to go back for it? Hmm. Decisions. Nope. I'm good. We'll be finding plenty of those. Besides, we have what we came for. And that's the important part. Ooh. Okay, that was a little bit closer than I would have liked, but... Bye-bye. And there should be one over here, I think. But uh, let's drop some stuff off, because I believe we're still going to have to fight one or two more. And uh, acid rounds are okay, but they're not the best. Okay, drop off that. That. Explosive A, explosive B. Yeah, just one of each. And I'd rather use A on A and B and B. Or, you know, we can make more. Okay, flame rounds are good. So let's just do that. Oops. Nice, and it fits all of them. Um, we probably don't even need that or that. Just to save up on space. Now we should be. We should be fine. I'm not even going to leave the shotgun. And if I come to regret it, then we come to regret it, and it's whatever. Also, just a nice, convenient way of holding the grenade launcher up top like this. It's got a nice handle. And Jill's even able to bring up the firing position pretty quick. Jill's tummy's giving her a little bit of an issue. That's why she's got to hold it. Uh, let's see. Put that here. So that opens a thing. Um, th there's even a note in here explaining just like, we're not going to give you guys any more. You have to be careful how you use these so you don't lock yourself out. And it's very... It reads very corporate-y. So we need to open this. So we can get back our battery. Or key, whatever. Battery pack. Which doubles as a key. Because you can't just leave doors open down here. Because, you know, there's so many people freaking uh, breaking in to control water facilities. There we go. Got our hip pouch. Got explosive A. Powder, is that it? Looks like. Battery pack. So that's locked again, but we don't need anything from there, so we are good. And then, yep, we just circle back around over here. And we put the battery pack in. And there goes that tiny little uh, slice of the game right there. Oh. There you are. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Yeah, nice, nice little level there. It's, uh, oh! 
<laughs> Why he doesn't just crush your head then and there instead of tossing us? Uh, don't know. But it is a. F I was about to say this. Please don't let this be the boss fight because I left and stuff. Alright, uh, item box over here. This game is very, very generous with that kind of thing. Alright. Now, I believe there's even one up ahead. Which is kind of weird now that I think about it. So, let's actually pack some stuff. There we go. We got more than enough stuff right here. I might even... Mm, I'm gonna leave that for now. And if we come to regret it, we come to regret it. Whatever. Let's put that away, actually. I have done this with like so much more limited resources on uh, harder difficulties, so should not be an issue. God, this dodge is such a great addition. Gotta run relatively fast. Let's put this down. Go up here. He could have just aimed it a little bit higher up and we would have been all nice and crispy. But he has taken his own sweet time. Just aim it a little better, dude. You can get me. I believe in you. You're not even trying. You're just standing over there. Is this like an insurance scam or something you're trying to pull off? Because it seems like I am not your primary target here. I guess, uh, yeah, we can go ahead and bring the rocket launcher. Don't really need to, but we shall. And if anything, I'll probably just open it with that. I believe you can actually just do a bunch of damage if you just blow up his pack. Defeat the creature. I know what the creature's name is. It's Nemesis. He has a name. You will we'll respect it. Shit. Um, I forgot to bring my shotgun. <laughs> Did I? Yes. That is why I made that save. 1835. Uh... Wait, wait, 1836. Reload that. I want my shotgun. I don't know how I forgot that. I, I brought the ammo for it. Just didn't bring the gun. There we go. Alright, now let's do this. That is what we are doing. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure that's not how a flamethrower works. Th what is this dingo dial nonsense from Crash 3? 
Oh shoot. Oh. Oh shit, we are on red. Um Ooh. Come on, reload. Still kicking? Alright, let's grab some more ammo because I believe once we murderize him, we're done here. So let's grab all the stuff we can. Explosive rounds. Shit, we hit ourselves. That's okay. <laughs> now he's just wielding it like some kind of fucking mace. Come on, reload. Jesus. Oh, no, do not, do not stun luck. <laughs> Explosive stuff going. There we go. Now you're dead. Jump. Jill goes through so much shit in this game, and it's not even funny. <laughs> this is just a total roller coaster ride, and I'm in love with it. I'm gonna make sure I've. Oh, I need to make sure I put those down for notes for the uh, podcast, so we can uh, talk about it. Carlos, it's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You all right? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good. Fuck him. <laughs> you Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. Jill is a bona fide badass. I really need to just let that handgun ammo run out. I think there is stuff to collect around here, but it's not super vital or anything like that. Oh look, it's the place where we go to at Res Evil 2! Except the thing is not there, so Leon must already be down there fighting the alligator or something. Semi-auto barrel for the shotgun. Uh, let's see. Designed for semiotic fire, uh, automatic fire, uh, allows for rapid firing while also reducing spread for greater power. So that is an absolute yes. And it gave us more ammo. I should have done the same thing I done with the handgun to test that, but now I know for future use. And it looks like I stand corrected. These do take two slots now. Double shit, Jill. Kendo, you're all right. You're all, all right to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's got to be a lot to do. You could use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a. Uh... Just bad timing as well. Oh no, I forgot. Yeah, this is before Resident Evil 2. It's like simultaneous, but like slightly Look, uh, before. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? 
better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's, that's your job, right? <laughs> take care, Jill. I'm gonna take care of your zombie daughter. So you're gonna do... If you're heading to the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? The key's hanging on the wall. At least he's a lot nicer to us than he is to Leon. That's for damn sure. Um, let's put some stuff away. Let's grab a first aid spray. Um, here, just to teach myself a lesson, we're going to get rid of that handgun ammo. Do away with that. That's all we need. Perfect pacing, roller coaster experience, and Jill goes through a lot. That is my overall thoughts for this game so far. Also feels, yeah, it also feels nice around PC for some reason. I mean, there's, there's the obvious PC stuff, and then just like, it just plays so much better with the mouse than, uh, too. Don't know, I can't put my finger on it. Feels more responsive. Unlock that. Red herb, stay there, buddy. Another one of shoot the leg out. Not working. Okay. Let's do that. You're super dead. Lockpick. I just, I basically just keep the lockpick on me for the entirety of this experience. Explosive rounds. I don't remember this game being so so generous with the explosive rounds, but. I will take it. All right, so let's go. And our buddy Nemesis with an even bigger case. What you got for us this time? Big old rocket launcher. Really? That's not good. I don't go chasing us or nothing like that. Nope. Oh, I dodged. I was running. Should be running, not st sitting there talking. Me too. These missiles have a very small blast radius. But apparently, that one didn't, didn't cut us. It just had enough force to push us. Poor freaking Jill. <laughs> Just being blasted every single way. There's like some Tomb Raider stuff, like two, like 2013 Tomb Raider, where it's like almost torture porn. Just all the shit she goes through. Alright. 
right, so we're down here. Lead him right to you? It's okay. Trust me. Like, you have some kind of secret plan going on there, Carlos, that we don't know about. Let's just head towards this super cool toy shop. <laughs> okay, we need to run. Don't let the toy get us. I think it even goes faster on hardcore. Because I've died to it a couple times. Oh no. No, 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 no. I think there's ammo in here. There we go. Don't open the door. No, just, just go away. Way more. Hey, you okay? Not quite enough. Go, go. Come on, forget about him. That's a bit bigger than a claymore. I'll give you that, Carlos. Come on, let's get out of here. Relatively decent plan. I believe this is the same hallway we went down in the beginning. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, I think you'll be safe. I'm having a really good time you? with this. Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, oh, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. See, not all Umbrella employees are bad. A lot of them are left in the dark as to the uh, greater companies like Machinations or whatever. All their DV schemes and bioterrorism stuff. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside, the subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right, you're going ahead. I'm not gonna die on you and leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. Smooth. You need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go! Jill just wants to get the fuck out. She overheard the vaccine stuff, but... She's outie. Don't care. Been through too much shit herself personally, and I don't fucking blame her. So you don't really think Vince will push her like part of the still alive, do you? I have a done good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? He's on your shit. Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Ooh. What you think? Calling you out. What was that? And of course he's walking away the second this happens. All those passengers that we saved. Dead They're dead. They're gone. Go. He's swept. There's a bomb there that he left. It's not after you. Get 
No! Not the good Russian boy. Take the bad Russian boy, not the good one. Man, I fucking love this game. I absolutely love this game. Holy shit. Two thirty four AM RPD West Gates. Oh, it's been a while. Subway's gotta be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date. Nah, but she's not like that. I don't she's not like anybody. Carlos, the dude. He ain't in it for that. He's just being a good dude. Freaking dude of the year. Did he win due to the U2024 podcast? I don't think so. You sure? Looks like a cemetery to me. Oh yeah, so we're playing as Carlos now. He has his own weapons and whatnot. Pistol, assault rifle, knife. Um, yeah. Brad, stop! T. There's our buddy Brad. Not you too. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Brad, why'd you have to say that? And that's how poor Martin gets bit. Shit, it's locked. All right. Stay on the door. I have traditionally messed with Brad and used the pistol. I've learned my lesson. Let's not do that. Because he takes a hell of a beating. Sorry, Brad. All right. Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. If our so, intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. custody? So Leon is not here I yet. I this was a rescue. I uh, do not need the knife. Let's forget Carlo, about that. Take a look at this. I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! So, yeah. Be careful. We're not like fully exploring um, the entirety of the Raccoon City Police Department here. But it is a decent portion of it. It's not like the same puzzles. It's kind of just going room to room. But it is still quite a good time. So let's see. Um, yeah, we're good on items. Now here's a weird fucking door. Leave it. <laughs> we're here for Bard. <laughs> I forgot that he says that. It's like, what's up with all these fucking keys? That's dumb. That's weird. Uh, stars. Got more ammo. everything here yep all right what the hell was that thing and we see how these guys get a uh, murderized couldn't have been a zombie this dude's hanging right here and you can't fall yet. You're there for Leon. Or I guess Claire, too. I didn't stick around. That's good. Uh, here we go. Let's do this. There we go. Ooh. Nope. 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 Okay, go, 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 go. Push, 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 push. 
Uh, I went the wrong way. This is open. Apparently, there's an item over here. Flash grenade. We can't climb up there. We can go over here. Assault rifle ammo. T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Can't go in any of these special doors. Oh shit. Damn it. Ah, there's so many. Uh back up in here. You're alive too. That's not good. Shit. There's so many of you. Reload real quick. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're still going health. That's good. There we go. Whew. Let's go to the west office here. Okay, we got scope for the assault rifle. What's the code for this again? Um, let me see. Police station 9157. Same as the uh, original. 9157, okay. Is this not going to load? Whoa, frame rate? Good? Okay. 9157. Whoops, went too far. Sorry, whoever's gonna grab that later. You're screwed, Leon. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, nice. I, for I forgot if you do, if you do the aim after a perfect uh, dodge, it l lets you snap like straight over their head. For some reason, Leon's locks are not on there yet. Got everything in here, though. Shit. That's Fuck. locked. Oop. There we go. Reddered, assault rifle ammo. All right, let's combine that, ditch that. Um, combine, ditch the rest. We should be good. If the cameras killed those things, I'd be set. Maybe a fatal frame reference. <laughs> Um, yeah, we don't really have much in terms of extra items and whatnot. So we're just gonna venture forth. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. Yeah, I know you're alive. Don't fucking bullshit me. Oh, got a key. Uh, let's see. DCM, I think. 
Yeah, this is this door is not blown open yet. Um, Nemesis busting through. I don't, I don't think Nemesis goes through here, right? I don't think you see him in here. I don't think so. It's it's crazy how much less stressful this area is um, compared to two once Mr. X is out um. open. Won't open all the way. Okay. Let's see. Cap. Flash grenade. Green herb. Something right there. Break the shower room wall. Better not. An electronic gadget. Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the exploding way. I guess I just don't remember having to go through here for other items and stuff. Um, I got a key for something. Safety deposit room, I'm guessing. I guess for some reason my brain just did not remember this little um, segment. Oh fuck, I fucked up. Let's get to safety. <laughs> I hell fucked that up. Uh, let's see, take that out, combine. Alright, so all I need to do is not make noise. So let's do that. Not make noise. Where did he even run off to? Right? Exactly where I need to go is where it decided to go. Can you move? Think. Okay, no, it knows I'm here. Let's go. Maybe if you weren't. Oh. There we go. Okay, we can do. We can't do two oh eight. It's. There is a bobblehead. We can do 109, 106, 104, 109, 106, 104. Why does this look so low texture compared to Resident Evil uh, 2 version? It's so blurry. <laughs> Battery. Mine now. Come to Papa. Oh, there's something right here. Oh, just a combination. All right, so we have the battery with that. So now we can go blow that wall up. Mr. Liquor, where are you? So I can not piss you off. Ooh. Hello. Goodbye. I don't think the lookers can go upstairs. They can climb up walls, so I don't know if they can go upstairs. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Alright. So this is gonna be a lot of zombies coming my way. Don't even bother using the pistol here. Oh shit, behind us. Can't back up. Mm. 
This sight makes things so much easier, though. Reload, reload, reload. Alright, let's just make sure you're all actually dead. You're not. Yep. Don't try to fool me. One at a time, take a number. You're dead. You're dead. What? I shot you. I shot you extra times. You don't get to do that. Oh, phew! <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Alright, is it still mad? I just wanted to open the box. That's all I wanted to do. You still mad? It's like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> I need you to move so I don't touch you. You need to move. Stop walking towards me. You can't... Okay. You're not gonna move. You gotta die. There we go. It's not my fault you didn't want to move. I did not want to spend that ammo. But you just wanted to chill in the hallway. Not even on the wall. You could have hung out on the wall. But you didn't. I believe this is the Anna Carlos' segment right here anyway. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Did you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Yeah, well, Carlos has a golden heart, because he's a golden boy, and he's not gonna do that. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Let's grab some supplies. Uh, let's see. Combine that. Uh, and get rid of that. Man, they need to bring Carlos back for some more games. Like, I don't care. Put him in 4. Put him with the 4 remake. I don't care if he wasn't there originally. Does not concern me in the slightest. Alright, 
I think that's almost about it. Is that Jill in the front row? That's too pixelated as freaking C, dude. All right, we're good to go. Yeah, what's up? Derail. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill, Jill, what happened? Jill, come in. T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. T is pretty relatively chill about all this. It's like he, he's definitely more the company man than um, than Carlos is, but he's still cool to having to go do his thing. Alright, so we're gonna get to the next manual save and then I'm gonna go ahead and call the stream. Yeah, all those people are dead. I guess I'll just go ahead and give my little spiel here ahead of time. Um, best place to stay up to date with me and all my shenan and shenanigans is over on Twitter. Uh, my at is on screen, it's Jose slash Seth Um I'll let her talk real quick. Um, yeah, Twitter is the best place to stay up to date with me on basically everything. Uh, my my podcast, Game Session Podcast, um, at Game Session Pod, uh, is live here on Sunday, 6.30 p.m. PST. Uh, the, podcast, the full podcast makes its way over to YouTube and podcast services later um, with individual segments from the podcast cut up for easier digestion on a daily basis. Um, I just kind of stream games here on Twitch whenever I feel like it. Uh, for updates as for when I'm planning to go ahead and do that, just go ahead and follow me on Twitter. That's where you can stay up to date with me on everything. I also do YouTube video essays on games. I'm working on one at the moment concerning Doom Eternal. Um, yeah, it's going to be about it for now. Oh, I also have a Patreon now, so I just want to give a shout out to my two patrons at the moment, which are Sly and Ramen Nomad. Um, patrons at the Super Patron level, which is a $5 tier. Um, get early access to all my videos ahead of time. So I believe right now I have daily content planned until the 2nd of March. So if you go at the $5 uh, Super Patreon tier, you get access to all that ahead of time uh, via private links on Patreon. Uh, with that, thank you for hanging out, everybody, and I will see you next time. We'll probably, yeah, well, <laughs> we're going to continue three after that. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see from there because I already. I've already streamed four way too much. Five, I am. I used to stream with 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 Mesa. Uh, we, we plan on going back to that at some point. And then there's Resident Evil Six with Sarah, but our schedules don't necessarily w line up too much, so I might continue that by myself. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, with that, thank you for hanging out, and I will see everyone next time. <laughs>